Hi everyone, I'm back with the uh, 3D printed drum today. I've been playing with it a little bit and I like it. I like the way it sounds. Everything's still enjoyable about it. But I thought I would do a warm up for you today. And you're going to see me screw up a few times probably. And that's great. Um, this warm up is not something I made up. It's from Donovan Studio Akat. So I'll have a, uh, uh, a link to his page down below as well as I've added another little toy. Um, this is called Doombeck FX. So Doombeck FX from Zenitram Systems. It's a great little device. Just It's fun, right? So it'll, it gives you the choice to choose colors and it'll give you a different color blink or pulse for Doom and Tech on your drum. Um, so I'll put that link down below too. So the warm up goes like this. So basically it's gonna start with uh, mock soon skeleton. So Doom Tech, Tech, Doom Tech. And uh, you, to do the whole thing, you're going to need to know all the basic sounds of the drum. Doom, tech, ka, and slap. So a lot of, my, uh, a lot of the main techs I'm going to do is a slap. And the ka's will either come with the left hand or will do a tech instead of a ka on the right hand to produce the same sound. But it's warming up everything. And so like I said, you're going to see me screw up. You're going to see me do some sounds wrong. Um, but it's a warm-up, that's the point. We're also going to go to the point where I can't do it anymore, and it might be a disappointingly slow speed, but that's the way it is. So we'll get to the point where I can't do it, and then that's when I know to back off if I'm going to keep uh, rehearsing or keep uh, trying to work out a little bit that day and uh, or play for my daughter or play for my wife or whatever. So. Uh, we're going to do several parts and it's going to progress and it's going to get faster. So part one is the skeleton moxum. So each of these parts we're going to play four times by the way. Part two is going to be moxum but with the accent filled in all with your uh, dominant hand. So doom slap, ka slap, doom ka. Yeah, so all with the right hand. Um, I said ka, of course, you'll know that sound as a tech. So doom, slap, tech, slap, doom, slap, tech, slap. Pay attention to what my hands do, not what my lips say. I got those sounds reversed in when I previously said it. The next section will be moving over to the ka hand. So it's going to be the same exact sound, but you'll be making the accent with the ka hand. Okay, from there we're going to go into rolling mock soon. So here's where it'll start to speed up and uh, some of the uh, beginning players might want to stick with the skeleton where they just were instead of progressing on. So the rolling mock soon is going to sound like this. The section after that, um, at that accent point in between the skeleton, we're going to have a karshi. So still rolling moxun, but with the karshi. and hardest portion um, is in that same accent point we're going to put a five stroke roll. Sorry about that. Alright, so we'll go through the whole section. We're going to go five, uh, four times a piece and then we'll speed up and I'm going to try to start off slow. I'll be honest with you, this uh, crawling speed thing is probably about my weakest point keeping track of the timing as it crawls up. So we'll start off nice and slow and we'll see how far we get.
should be resting. Speed up just a little. Obviously, we got up to the speed where I started to screw up there. Now, you want to find that speed, but you don't want to spend a lot of time there. You want to be able to back off to the point where you're making all the sounds cleanly and work there. And the goal being that you'll push through maybe the next time you do the warm-up. So, at that point where I started screwing up, I should be backing off and uh, trying to make all the sounds cleanly for a little while longer. So, we'll do one more pass all the way through it, and then we'll go to the, uh, the next part of the warm-up.
All right, so continuing on with the exercise, the next thing I want to do is how I develop the car sheet. A lot of people ask, how do you get that to work? How do you make your, your, your ring finger over there on your left hand make two strokes in the count of one? And this exercise is how I did that. Um, it doesn't work for everybody, but it is how I did it. So the basic sound is just a right hand sound, either tech, doom, or slap, and then two cots. So, and we're gonna do seven, count seven right hand slap, uh, text and then a doom, then three right hand text and then a doom, then one and a doom, then zero of them, so just doom slap with the doubles in between. And then we're gonna go back out. So we've always called, I've always called this sevens, so it goes seven, three, one, zero, one, three, seven. And we do four of each pass, so, so. <laughs> Excuse me. So it sounds a bit like this, and I'll try to count them out. Um, you might not be able to hear it. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, So that's the whole thing, and it's just, and start off at that speed if you need to, just, and eventually going down and up and down and up, you'll build your speed up, and eventually the uh, that sound will just start to happen. So let's see if I can still do it at speed. I haven't been playing regularly in a while, so let's see how it goes. fantastic but not bad that is really going to wear your left hand out and it's going to wear your shoulders out if you're not uh, if you haven't moved all of your motion down into your hands things are going to start to get worn out so that exercise is really good for a couple of reasons one is the obvious development of that ring finger the other is that it's going to start to drive your motion out of your shoulders and down into your forearms where you want it so there's the uh, there's the warm-ups, both the uh, Moxum warm-up and sevens. So have a great day.